In the light of Christ, we welcome you as we wait in hope and pray for the ending of violence and bloodshed. May the peace of Christ burn in our hearts and dawn in our world. Jesus said, peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not let them be afraid. We gather at this church to recall the armistice that marked the beginning of the end of the First World War, 100 years ago. And to dedicate this poppy installation to the fallen, to God, and to our commitment to work for peace. We look back in sorrow for all those who suffered injury and loss. We recall those who are suffering in conflicts in our world today. And we look forward to that day when the kingdoms of this world would be ordered by God's peaceable reign. We pray that all who look upon this display will be moved to remember the fallen and to commit to peace. And so we'll have our reading from Isaiah. The, the reading is taken from the book of Isaiah, chapter 2, verses 1 to 6. The word that Isaiah, son of Amos, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. In days to come, the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established at the highest of the mountains and shall be raised above the hills. All the nations shall stream to it. Many people shall come and say, Come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord. Go to the house of the God of Jacob, that he may teach us his ways, and that may, we may walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth instruction, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. He shall judge between the nations, and shall arbitrate for many peoples. They shall beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war any more. So let us say together the collect. Almighty Father, whose will is to restore all things, in your beloved Son, the King of all. Govern the hearts and minds of those in authority and bring the families of the nations, divided and torn apart by the ravages of sin, to be subject to his just and gentle rule, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. As we look upon the wastes and sorrows of past and current conflicts, so we pray that the Lord will show us his mercy and forgiveness and extend his healing upon our broken world. And so we pray for the coming of God's kingdom in the words that Jesus gave to us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the Christ's kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. So go forth into the world in peace. Be of good courage. Hold fast to wit that which is good. Render no one evil for evil. Strengthen the faint-hearted. Support the weak. Help the afflicted. Honour everyone. Love and serve the Lord, rejoicing in the power of the Holy Spirit and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with you and remain with you all, always. Amen. Amen.